Alright, so we're back with Fallout 76, and today we're looking at the next survival reward weapon, the Action Hero 50 caliber machine gun. And all I have to say is the challenge to get this one is incredibly easy, but super tedious. It was nothing but tediousness. Not challenge, there was no challenge in it, just tedious. It was, it's, it was craft, no, it was scrap 20 melee weapons, or was it 40 melee weapons? It was, uh, scrap a bunch of melee weapons, scrap a bunch of, um, ranged weapons, craft 40 Molotovs, and craft 40 explosive ammo, right? 40 Molotovs. Meaning you need 40 beer bottles, and you have to get straight beer bottles. You can't use, like, pickaxe pilsner bottles, or any named bottles. You can't use wine bottles, just beer bottles. And you need 40 of them. I'm going to show you where to get probably around 40 after I review this weapon a bit. There's three good locations on the map. Well, one really good, two, that's the second one's pretty okay, and then a, another second okay one. So, yeah, then you need the, the crafting. You, you know how much adhesive you need to make this thing, or to get this thing? I wrote it all down. I did the math. You need over 100 some adhesive. For me, who doesn't really collect, he doesn't just store like tons and tons of scrap stuff. That's a lot. You also need several hundred um, screws and several hundred, or no, you need like almost 60 some springs. Oh, and if you do it, and if you get this by building entirely, um, Fertilize, or not fertilize, pff, what am I saying? Uh, grenade launcher rounds, 40mm grenade launcher rounds. If you make entirely those, you'll need a lot of fertilizer. So yeah, this thing uh, really tedious to get. So yeah, it's a 50 cal machine gun that has some really good effects on it. Shoots an additional projectile, so it's two shot. It's not a two shot explosive. However, it is a two-shot that shoots 25% faster and reloads another 15% faster. This thing... It's got pretty good DPS. Now, I am sort of specced into it. I have some perks that are going to help it. Like, right now I have on... <laughs> I have Bloody Mess, obviously. Only level 2 of Bloody Mess. I have... I have all three of the... um. Heavy gunner perks on, however, two are level two heavy gunner and one is a level one heavy gunner. And then I also have lock and load, which is another um, reload speed increase. So you can actually increase the reload speed even more if you get, um, what's that one, speed demon? So you can have this reload speed down to like almost instant. And I guess um, that one reload perk in luck, I have that as well. And um, yeah. So yeah, with all the perks right now, it's doing 89 damage a shot, which is um, 10 less than a semi-automatic hardened um, uh, handmade rifle. So that's pretty good. I, obviously, it would be a lot higher if you had um, you know, all heavy gunner perks level 3, and then you had Bloody Mess level 3, and then if you had Nerd Rage... And adrenal reaction, you get a lot more. But yeah, I feel my setup's okay. Like, it, it's fine for right now with this thing. But yeah, oh. Yeah, here was the perks I was talking about. Lock and load. See, I only have a little two of these, but it's still... It's still a pretty okay increase. Then, uh, tenderizer is also gonna help this thing. Um, tenderizer is a pretty good perk. You know, it makes you do more damage, no matter what weapon. Uh, what else? We yeah, Bloody Mess, like I said. Better Criticals, that would help if you're going for Vats, Hits. Then Quick Hands is what the other one. Alright, so, where to find bottles? There's kind of a, some okay locations to find bottles. One is... Which bunk it's... No, this bunker. No, wait, no, not that one. One of these bunkers. It's it. No, I think it's this one. Ella Ame's bunker. I think, I think that one has a lot of regular beer bottles in it. 
another place I found that has a good amount of beer bottles. Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove, you have to go down a couple of light. Go down where the, um, like the office is and then go down even more. Just search this whole building. You'll find beer bottles. And then another strange location I found. The Nuka Cola plant has a lot of beer bottles on the outside. If you, there's a trailer with a guy with a bunch of beer bottles in it, and then the lobby. If you go in the front way, the lobby has a bunch of beer bottles in it as well. So that's pretty good. Um, alternatively, the um, the one house from the DLC, like Big Al's tattoo parlor has some, not a lot, but that one like um, house that you go in whenever you get the Nuka Cola or not the Nuka Cola, the Nuka Shine when you first get it, that has some beer bottles in it. But I'm, if you're the first one here to this bunker, Sugar Grove, and the Nuka Cola plant, I think you can get all the bottles you need. For the crafting or scrapping melee weapons, just craft 20 boards. That's what I did. And then for scrapping um, ranged weapons, just go kill low level super mutants and low level scorched and just scrap their weapons. So yeah, I'm currently over cumbered. Oh yeah, uh, cannonballs do not count towards the explosive, the explosive ammo. Hmm. So yeah, we'll go see how this thing does. As soon as I figure out why I'm so overcumbered. Hold on, let me put a weapon back. So I had to take off all of my, um, you know, my perks. Nope, oh, I guess they were using the other power armor. This thing is very heavy. It is like 20-some pounds. And that's, yeah. I guess I could put on bare arms, but then I'd have to get rid of lock and load, right? So, get out of the power armor, please. I wanted to use my nice T-45. But, I guess we're going to use the Raider, because it has the, exca the excavator, the Bone Raider excavator set. Sorry, it's very early. I just woke up, and I just went to record this. So, yeah, we'll go test this weapon on... The gulpers. Figured that might be a um, pretty good test, since that's what I've been using. I'm going to have to get, what, the servos for my T45, so it lets me carry more. Alright, here's the reload with all the uh, reload perks. I guess that's good. Unless it didn't count the perks I put on, I don't know. Oh, and look at the hip fire on this thing when you move. That, look how far, I'm not sure how well you can tell, but look how far the little um, crosshairs move. Like, it's not really good. You can't really see because of the color of the crosshair. But, um, yeah, they're almost to the edge of the screen. If you're in the third person, Jesus. Like, you're not going to hit anything unless you aim with this thing. So I guess that one... There's a couple perks um, in intelligence that improve the accuracy whenever you're in power armor with heavy weapons, so those would be good. Now, I do have something that might help us uh, against the um, gophers. I'm going to use this. The Hunter's IPA. I'm going to see if that works. Because it shouldn't be affected by the healing factor I have. Because healing factor reduces chem effects. And this is a, um, you know, this is a beer and alcohol. So, yeah. I'm going to take that. And we're also going to take a, um, Psychostats. So this thing does 101. It's going to do a bit more. Where is he? Oh. 
All right, that went pretty well. This thing is very inaccurate. Like, very in incredibly inaccurate. Like, it goes everywhere. Holy Jesus, it go everywhere. Even holding it straight, like, on the target, it's still... Is that all the golfers? Now there's one more, it looks like. Jesus, is this thing inaccurate? Holy Jesus, this is inaccurate. Like, you re it really needs that perk and in intelligence. Unless you're gonna get up close like this. Yeah, there we go. Uh... I guess we can walk over and try to fight the hermit crab. That seems like a pretty good plan. Put this thing through the test. Get stuck in the ground, please. We're gonna try and skip this house. Hermit. Oh, the power armor when you fall makes a new sound. I don't know if you could hear that. Ow. Away from me. Where's the other one? There's a the hermit crab. Just reload. Oh, it's legendary. Wow, we were able to outbeat its, um... Its healing factor. Is that what you call it? A healing factor? And I got a, um... Berserker's... Fat Man. Actually, that's not too bad for my standard build, because out of power armor, I have, a, I have only 60 armor, which is, you know, because I have a slight Berserker's build. Yeah, should be another Hermit Crab we can fight, so we can go see how it does again. Should be over here. Should be on top of there, right? That's where it was. Yeah, this thing has really good DPS, even though I don't have a complete build for it. I'm not sure if we're still getting the... Now we're not getting the Psycho stats anymore. We're probably not getting the Hunter's IPA. Yeah, we're not getting the Hunter's thing anymore. Oh, random fact. Do you want to get rid of the Hangover withdrawal effect? Drink, drink a whiskey. There. Oh, no. No, wait. Which one? One of these... Is the bourbon? One of the alcohols gets rid of your hangover. I forget which one. Maybe it's rum. Oh, wait. No, it's... Is it drinking, uh... Yeah, it's drinking the High Voltage Hefe. It gets rid of your hangover. Hefe? How do you, how do you say that? Hefe or Hefe? I 
Alright, regular hermit crab. Crouching. Wait for the um, thing to respawn. It's so inaccurate. <laughs> Think I can make that? Oop. There we go. I don't need your marsupial or jetpack. Yeah, pretty good. Not as fast as the mini nuke, but um, pretty good. No, I don't want to do that. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, especially if you're able to improve this really, or uh, especially if you're able to improve it a lot more, you know? Like, get all the um, heavy gunner perks, get, like, the one that improves the accuracy and intelligence when you're in power armor. I definitely recommend you get the one in in intelligence um obviously tenderizer was up in there suppressors this actually this thing wouldn't be too bad with suppressors effect or it's just a perk card um yeah but with uh my not really heavy gunner setup of i have some perks but not really much um yeah it's pretty good and how much ammo did we use? I had a little over a thousand. Now what? We have seven hundred and sixty-eight. So we used probably three hundred some rounds. Now more than that. I think I had twelve. I don't know how much I had. I had a somewhere over a thousand. And now we're down to seven hundred and some. So yeah, really good weapon. If you're specced into it, good. Even if you're kind of specced into it. So yeah. Yeah, the lighting changes on the Xbox down there. Weird. Alright, well, bye.